Hi everybody, in this video I will show you how to make a Japanese sword using Blender. Let's start with setting the image of Japanese sword as a background image. You can easily set an image just by dropping it into the 3D view. After setting the background image, follow the curve of the sword with the basic curve. You don't have to be too nervous to dress it. If you can roughly outline it, that is enough. Once you have determined the position, convert the beige curve to a mesh. You can convert it from object on the toolbar with mesh from curve. When converted, it becomes just a line. Select some vertices and close it with a face. After closing, extrude the mesh to make it thicker. I will paint the color later, but for the time being, just I left the material as metal. Next, create the grip in the same way, border with beige cap and convert to a mesh. I think this method is the best way to trace the sketch. Many Japanese sword grips are wrapped with a string to prevent a slippage. In this work, I will try to imitate the general style. I also used the beige cap to create the strings. From the property of the beige cap, you can set the thickness and extrusion. I made a string of 7mm. Wrap this around the mesh of the grip. The basic curve with the thickness is very difficult to operate. This is because the front side of the cup moves in various directions by operating the handle. In such case, use tilt and radius in the tool shelf. Tilt can adjust the twist, radius can adjust the thickness. Next, I will make tsuba. Tsuba is a circular anti-slip metal fitting between the blade and the grip. In this case, I use a crowd file created by Photoshop, but you can create it with a beige curve. Since the crowd file has a rough mesh, leave only the necessary vertices and delete unnecessary edges and faces. After leaving only the outline, close the mesh, increase the thickness, and unify the size. Tsuba is the most decorative part of the Japanese sword. Let's give a little design. For example, dig a globe like this or change the color of the edges. In this work, the color is based on the navy blue with the slightly last. At the connection between the tsuba and the braid, there is a small metal part called as habaki. Compared to tsuba, they are often simpler. This time, I made the shape to be rounded like a mountain. Next, let's make the seas. Japanese sword seas is often wrapped with a string called sageo. It makes the sword not to slip off the seas. And there are a various style of winding. However, in 3D CG, looks like that is most important, so the strings do not need to be connected. In this way, I made the complex ties of string with a multiple beige curves. Now that I have made the necessary parts, I will paint them. The lacquer is used for painting the real Japanese sword, so I decided to paint it with a lacquer-like black. Baby red and white Japanese sword are sometimes found on internet. But they are not traditional Japanese sword because they use chemical paint. It is better to choose a deep color to pass reality. At the end, I will add the pattern of the braid parts. The braid pattern is written in the roughness map, not the color. Roughness map is the texture to write the reflectance. It becomes easy to reflect as it becomes black, and harder to reflect as it becomes white. I choose fill in the texture paint mode and paint the cutting edge in gray about 1 cm. Even though this seems to be a Japanese sword, the boundaries are ripped with similar. I think it's more like Japanese sword. Let's look at the finished product. This Japanese sword is my second wax of Japanese sword, so I didn't add any elaborate decorations. I made some works after this recording. The early Japanese sword have a number of wonderfully sophisticated works. In this video, I produced a very simple tutorial, but I hope that I can show you some quality improvements someday. If you like this video, please subscribe. The work is posted on Twitter, so if you are interested, 
please follow it. Thank you.